For some, there was little calm before the storm. At this Home Depot outside Boston, a mad rush Thursday morning to stock up on the essentials. People come in in droves looking for rock salt and ice melt and sand and shovels. Outside, the snow already starting to pile up. Eastern New England is expected to bear the brunt of a big winter storm stretching from Indiana to Maine. To state the obvious, is snowing outside. Officials in Massachusetts are preparing for the worst. Many schools were closed and state workers sent home early, ahead of a storm that might dump as much as two feet in some areas. The hazards, in addition to storm, uh, to uh, snow, include strong winds, extremely cold temperatures, and the potential for coastal flooding. Further south in New Haven, Connecticut, emergency centers filling up with people in need of shelter and a hot meal. Wind chills expected to dip at least 10 to 20 degrees below zero in some places. If it drops any lower below zero or something like that or below 32, then I'm out on the street and I, I freeze to death. In New York, road crews will work 16-hour shifts to keep up with the snow. 8 to 10 inches are expected on Long Island. Thousands of flights have already been canceled. We won't hesitate to close uh, the, the taxiways and runways or even close the airport entirely. Out west to Ohio, drivers there might have already seen the worst of the storm. Still, it's not over yet, which is a good thing for some. Of course, no more money, so I like it. Whether a blessing or a curse, a chilly start to 2014. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.